My name is Danny Wang from GrassChinese.com. Welcome to Lesson Ten. Introducing yourself. So Liu, you got your first bargain in China. Is there anything else you need to get? I need to stop by our Beijing office to pick up some documents. It's only ten minutes walk from here. Let's go. Okay, great. Oh, there's my friend Xiao Li. Ni hao, Danny. Ni hao, Xiao Li. Xiao Li, this is my friend Liu. Liu, this is Xiao Li. Ni hao. Ni hao. Liu is here on a business trip. I'm teaching him some Chinese while he's here. I hope you are enjoying your time in China, Liu. Did you understand what we just said in Chinese? Yeah, I understood most of it, but the word "peng you" is new to me. "Peng you" means friend. "Peng you." I said, "This is my friend, Liu. This is my friend, Liu." Oh, I see. Liu, 你是英国人吗？小丽 asked, "Are you English?" 英国 is the Chinese for England. 英 doesn't really mean anything. It is just a Chinese word that sounds similar to the English pronunciation of England. 国 means country. So 英国 is how you say England in Chinese. You already know that 人 means people, so 英国人 literally means England people. That's how you say English in Chinese when you're talking about nationalities. So Xiao Li, you asked, 你是英国人吗 Which means, are you English? 我不是英国人 I'm American, but I haven't learned how to say that in Chinese yet. 美国 is the Chinese for America, as in the USA. 美 sounds like America, and 国 is the Chinese for country. If you want to say American, as in a nationality, you just put 人 after 美国 This is the same as saying other nationalities. 人 As you know, it's people. So, 美国人 is literally America people. So, 美国人 is American. Okay, so 我是美国人。中国 is how you say China in Chinese. 中 by itself means middle, and 国 you know means country. So China is literally called the middle country, China. Historically, China was known as the Middle Kingdom as it perceived itself as being at the center of the world. That's very interesting. So, 你们是中国人吗？是。You got it right. 中国人 is how you say Chinese people. It's just the same as saying other nationalities. Chinese. You seem to be picking up Chinese fast, Liu. You're doing a good job teaching him, Danny. Thank you. Your English is good. Thank you. What does English mean? English means English, as in the English language. Again, Ying doesn't mean anything by itself, but it's used to indicate something related to England. Yu is the word for language. Yu. So Ying Yu is how you say English language. Okay, so 你的英语很好 means your English is very good. Yes, that's right. 
，你的中国话很好 ，Leo。小丽 is complimenting your Chinese, Leo. The way you say the Chinese language in Chinese is slightly different. You use the word 话 which means speech. So 中国话 literally means China speech. This is how you say Chinese language. So 你的中国话很好 means your Chinese is very good. 谢谢 but I still only know a little Chinese. I hope people won't think that I'm fluent and expect me to understand everything that they say. You should learn how to say I speak a little Chinese to let people know that you're still learning. Good idea, Xiaoli. You can say 我说一点中国话说 is a word for to speak. 说一点 is how you say a little in Chinese. 一点 So, 我说一点 means I speak a little, and 中国话 means Chinese. I see. So, 我说一点中国话 I speak a little Chinese. That's a good phrase to know. It's been nice meeting you, Leo. I love to get any opportunity to practice my English. Yeah, it's been nice meeting you too, Xiao Li. 我要说很好的中国话 We must meet soon for coffee, Danny. I must see you again, Leo, before our trip is over. 再见，小丽。再见。Log on to graspchinese.com now to try our free exercises to practice and internalize the new words that you just learned. We have many types of fun and challenging multimedia exercises, as well as a glossary for each of our lessons. You can also create your own learning profile to keep track of your progress. Have fun! See you next time.